hello viewers i welcome you all from hlt of tech channel and today we will talk about customizing of word templates that are used for various entities in order to generate the custom reports <clears throat> it always uh, it is always required in your environment that uh, you have to give certain uh, formatted reports to your customers regarding any of the uh, results for example if you, someone wants to ask you about the uh, product details then what will he do uh, he will just ask you about that part to uh, print out uh, form uh, of report of your uh, that product ID so all you have to do is just to click on the uh, custom report that has already been configured by the developer uh, in your environment and uh, all you have to give him the soft copy or the print out of that report so in order to uh, customize uh, in order to make custom reports in word template all you have to do is to perform some certain steps <clears throat> these steps are first of all you will go into uh, settings and in settings you will go into the templates here in templates uh, you will click on document templates these are already created some uh, document templates that are either in form of word or excel file so what you have to do uh, you have to click on new here you will select word template and in word template for example i want uh, these are the entities and i want to uh, create a word template specific to a uh, product detail entity that we just created in our uh, previous video so i will select on the entity here here you are seeing that uh, it has also given you some options of uh, relations i will exclude that part and i will click on download template <coughs> now uh, here you can see that the uh, template sample has been downloaded if i go into downloads here you can see that uh, it has just been downloaded uh, here and i will click on showing folder i will just uh, copy it and i will paste it here because my word application is stored on local pc i will click on it after open, opening it i will go into options and in options i will go into customize ribbon and here i will select on uh, all tabs and in all tabs i will add the developer option here after that i will click on ok now you can see that the developer tab is available here i will click on developer uh, i think i have uh, added developer twice let me check it yes i have added developer twice so i will exclude it once only one is sufficient so here you can see that the developer tab is enabled now and in developer tab i am going to click on xml mapping here you can see that there are different types of uh, custom xml part i will go into this one because in this one my uh, entity that is product detail is selected and now i will uh, write here the format hello uh, dear now uh, this is the static text that i'm going to add and it will not change because it's a static text that has been added by me uh, through typing now <clears throat> if i want to add some text that is changed on runtime based on the entity attributes what i have to do i have to select it from here uh, for example here you can see that uh, I'm going to select uh, Honor ID, okay uh, I will right click it and I will add it as a plain text There are multiple options here. You can add a rich text plain text picture Checkbox combo box drop down list data picker. Okay. I'm going to add it as plain text dear Honor ID your We are pleased to offer you our product and now I'm going to add the product detail ID okay I will simply edit this new product ID with falling specs specifications number one 
let's say uh, I'm going to add a new name then I'm going to add a category then I'm going to add warranty and then I'm going to add the price that is this one looking forward for your positive feedback regards HLTF underscore tech company okay so I will click on save and after saving it all the data is saved here now I have just copied it here in local PC copy paste now I'm going to upload it before uploading it let me uh, uh, eliminate these inverted commas here now I'm going to upload it mm, this one okay it's telling me that this is the name you can change the name as well product detail entity template and I'm going to save it okay it has been saved successfully and let me check it here yes this is uh, <laughs> spelling mistakes uh, it doesn't affect okay it was product detail entity template that has been saved here now if I go here into dynamic 365 and product details here you can see that this is some entity and if I go here and click here here you can see that the word template is here if I click here and want to export the report regarding that particular record it has if I go into downloads this is the file that has just been created now to click copy paste it here to open it here you can see that dear this we are pleased to offer you product this was its unit imported cooling unit to year this all the values that were added as plain text here are ultimately updated on runtime as per the entities values here you can see okay so in this way you can uh, design your custom word templates and affiliate with some particular records in within the entity i thank you all for watching this video and guys please subscribe my channel and enjoy watching more videos i thank you all